as we were telling you earlier, some port traffic has now resumed in St. Simon's Sound, near where the Golden Ray cargo ship is still lying on its side, as you can see. It capsized Sunday off the South Georgia coast, and it is not the first time something like this has occurred. News 4 Jax has started digging into a remarkably similar accident that was back in 2015 in the United Kingdom. In that case, a cargo vessel named Hogue Osaka was also hauling cars and trucks when it too capsized. It had just left the port of Southampton and its 24 crew members had to be rescued. News 4 Jax reporter Scott Johnson has been looking into the similarities. The case here in Brunswick is strikingly similar to what happened in 2015 with the Hogue Osaka, a different ship. If you look at the way this one is on its side here in the harbor, it's very similar to the case out in the UK. The only difference, the Hogue Osaka was still floating on the water when it tipped. It was early 2015 when the Hogue Osaka overturned in United Kingdom waters. News for Jax has obtained this accident report published a year later. It shows pictures of what the ship looked like inside. It was also hauling a large amount of automobiles that you can see toppled on one another. The report points out something critical about the cause in the UK. The ship was extremely top heavy. The report concludes cargo distribution was such that the upper vehicle decks were full while the lower vehicle decks were lightly loaded. It was most likely that the cargo shifted due to the ship's excessive list and was not casual to the accident. It's a similar looking ship, there's no question about it. Uh, and there are similarities. It is a car carrier. It listed over to one side initially and then it was intentionally beached after the cargo shifted and it had to be righted. Rod Sullivan is a local maritime expert who has studied this case, which has even more similarities to what happened in Brunswick. Both ships had a crew of 24 that had to be rescued. But in the Hogosaka case, there was no pollution. In Brunswick, we've seen leaking oil. And in the UK, the ship was still floating in the water and towed to where it could sit on the seabed like the Golden Ray is tonight. The Hogo Saka was eventually uprighted and put back into service. Well, the salvage in the, the case of the Hogo Saka was completed in just four days. So they refloated it in four days and then they took it to a shipyard. It was a year before that ship could go back out to sea, though. Sullivan also tells me the owner of the vessel will try and salvage it, get it running again, unless the environmental cost is so great that it outweighs the cost of the ship, which is tens of millions of dollars in Glen County. Scott Johnson, Channel 4, the local station.